Corrections says it's not his job to fund county budgets. In an exclusive interview with 16 WAPT Scott Simmons, Fisher says he's standing his ground. There are a number of people who try to tell me how to do my job on almost a daily basis. That's not going to happen on this watch. Corrections Commissioner Marshall Fisher is firing back. He has drawn fire from county operators all over the state after he decided to pull state inmates out of county work programs. Taxpayers are going to be left holding the back. They say Fisher's plan will hurt in places where inmates do things like pick up trash on the highways. We'll padlock the doors and we'll move on. Holmes County Sheriff Willie March says the county will have to raise taxes and shutter a near half million dollar complex he built to house those inmates. MDOC has offered to let counties keep those inmates to do the work, but they refuse to pay the county's $20 a day per inmate. Is that worth it to you? Present to me, it is not worth it. Sheriff March says his county needs that money to stay afloat, but Fisher says he's got his own budget problems. I did not make those deals. I don't know who spends hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in that manner without any kind of contract or supporting documents. Fisher says moving inmates to state facilities will save his agency $3 million a year simply by moving state inmates into state prison beds that are currently available. The Department of Corrections Commissioner admits much of this decision has to do with budget concerns, but he also confesses that it also has something to do with security worries, worries that were highlighted recently in Hines County. We want to go on a record to inform the public that that was totally misleading. It was false. It was not true. That's Tyrone Lewis's response after a report revealed that a murder convict was allowed to leave the Hines County Jail at night with jail approval. Fisher says that was one example of serious security concerns brought out in that Department of Justice report. I'm supposed to wait till something bad happens before I move. I don't know who thinks that way or what planet they're on. We can't keep doing business the same way we've been doing it and somehow stick our head in the sand and think, well, let's just move forward and ignore what happened over here and think that we're not going to have similar results down the road. Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. The Department of Corrections says a recent state reform law has helped reduce the number of state inmates by about 5,000 compared to a year ago. That's why they have added the beds.